when they're gonna perform live, uh, my main key to everything that is our performances is to make the people, I need the people to feel every word that I'm saying, bro. Uh, when I sing, I need them to feel me. I, I, I want them to have an uh, exclusive reaction to when I touch the mic, you know what I'm saying? I don't want there to be no typical stuff. Like, it, the stuff that happened tonight, it was, it was something that was memorable. That's something that they can go back and talk about, you know what I'm saying? And You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to just, I, I'm really focused on the fans. I really want to give them some, some quality when it comes to music, man. Like, I don't, I want to really, I really want to give them quality and make them feel so it, it's something memorable for them. You know what I'm saying? So, seeing how the people reacted tonight, it, it just shows me like, okay, I did my job as an artist, as an entertainer. I did my job as an entertainer to see them freaking get on the dance floor and go crazy the way they did today. It was, it was funny. They, God damn, they had to slow down on what the hell I was singing them about. <laughs> just to watch what the hell they was doing. You know what I'm saying? So, that's one of my kids as an entertainer, man. I want to be able to touch them vocally. And they just see like, man, this man is not just singing just to sing. This man is singing to make us feel again. Being in the millennial times of things, a lot of stuff so polished, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to bring it back to like the 90s, the 80s vibe. When people hear you sing, they feel you all the way down to the T. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I could say when it comes to performing and do a live performance, man. That shit, that's one of my key things, man, for sure. Honestly, kissing me, like putting the show together myself, yeah. That's one of, this is my first, and uh, it's gonna be the first of many. You know, we already know it's all about building, you know what I'm saying? And like the people who supported me and support what I do, they came out and they, sh they were showing the love that they, that they said it was gonna show. So we already know when it comes to the next event, it's gonna be 20 times better than what it was tonight. So tonight, it just, tonight was like literally the genuine love of the people who really rock with me and rock with what I do. That's what tonight was about, you know what I'm saying? I was born to love you. I was we got so much going on. Uh, February 3rd, I have an award show with FMR. That's Freestyle Music Radio. And La Noche TV show is a late night talk show. I will be doing a pre-recording February 11th for that. Also, we getting stuff set up for March. We got another show coming up in March. Um, and, also, and that's gonna be in uh, Orlando, Florida as well. Uh, and also, um, April, we got Chicago, Chicago, Illinois. We got a concert set up for Chicago in April. Uh, May, we're gonna be back in Orlando again. Like, right now for the next four, five, six, seven months, we keeping it, we staying busy. That's the key thing, staying busy, um, building the fan base, and giving these people what they, I feel like, not what they need, it's what they deserve. Because I feel like a lot of people, especially in this, in this genre of music, they get deprived, you know, from that quality and giving them a good ass show. And after tonight, these people were just freaking blown away. And that's all that matters to me, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's seeing the reaction of the actual fans. Because when I make music, like, I'm not making it for the other artists to like. I'm not making it for the other artists to criticize and see, oh, what are you doing, whatever. Nah, it's these people right here who's trying to, like, they want to escape from their daily lives, bro. They got a lot of stuff they go through in, on, on a personal situation. So when they come to these concerts and they come to these events, they come to escape for that moment. You know what I mean? And just looking at the faces on these people, I know they, they had that, that escape that they needed for tonight. And that's what that just does my heart good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just keep doing that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But Team Missouri, y'all already know we in full effect. We out here in Kiss Me, Florida. Keep grinding. Don't stop. It don't matter all the... It don't matter what kind of negativity you get from the people. You know, or, they, or, or whatever the people wish bad on you. Just keep pushing. Because eventually your haters are going to become your fans. And they got no choice but to respect you. You know what I'm saying? So it's all within time and just be patient with your stuff and just keep working on your craft and keep building and keep building your value. That's the key thing. Keep building your value. So when they get to that point, man, there's, there's no questions to be asked when it comes to the people trying to book you for any event. You know what I'm saying? So right now, we're looking at things, we just gonna keep building. Like, this is what we do. This shit don't stop, man. We lit. Team Azul, we in full effect here, man. 89 till. They not still shit. The team was all we in full effect here. They not still shit. Shouts out to the whole squadron back home, Miami, Florida. We here in Kissimmee and uh, 
We already know the vibes, man. I'm here in Orlando, uh, in, in, in Atlanta, Georgia, We're building up the network, We're building up the fan base, man. So y'all make sure y'all keep your eyes on me. So this shit don't stop, man. At the end of the day, this shit does not stop. We're going to keep this thing going and keep bringing quality to what these people need, man. That's all I'm about, man.